Hello and welcome to an ANOVA system snippet video. My name is Sam Bromley and I'm going to show you how to use a feature called fixed line. So as you can see what we've got in front of us here is a model of a paperclip. Now the paperclip itself is made up of individual faces. Now the reason for this, if we drill down and have a look at the sketch itself, is that each one of these individual entities connects at a point and that's where we'll get a new face. So what if we don't want that? What we can use is a tool called Fixed Line, which allows us to group together individual entities and create one individual spine instead. So if I select these entities, Tools, Spline Tools and Fixed Spline, we can then turn all those individual entities into one spline. Now a few options just to point out here. What we can do is delete the original geometry, so the sketch entities themselves can be deleted. We can also choose to close that spline off. And we don't want to close the spline because obviously a paperclip is, is an open end. We can also control the way in which our spline may or may not be constrained. One last thing to point out here is actually the tolerance of the spline itself. In the top left hand corner you can see this purple preview running around. Now at the moment that's not very tight to the original entities themselves. So what we can do is decrease the tolerance and we'll get a much tighter spline that's going to run around our existing entities. Hitting the tick there will now create one individual spline. Exiting the sketch will then rebuild the sweep. We can now see we've got a paper clip which is created with one face that runs all the way around here and obviously the two end faces themselves. Now fit spline is a really neat tool especially if you're going to start applying some appearances to your models as well. So instead of specifying different mapping on different faces, we now have one face and we can drag and drop an appearance onto the paperclip without having to specify appearances on all the other faces themselves. It also generally gives a really nice appearance to the models themselves as they've got a nice smooth individual face that runs around the entirety of the model. I hope this has been a useful tool for you. Thanks for watching.